Hi guys! Since Bamboo Labs printer hit the market, they gathered the attention of the 3D printer community. A lot has been said and written about these printers. How they work, what features they have, and what not. But there are still a few things that may have been missed. For that reason, we decided to make a series of videos with several tips and tricks that you will definitely will want to know. You want to know all the details? Then stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, as we already mentioned, we have several tips and tricks to share with you guys about the Bamboo Labs 3D printers. We will publish a series of videos dedicated to this topic and in this video we will share the first one. As you already know, the X1C and P1P printers are compatible with the AMS unit. The AMS stands for Automatic Material System, and each unit allows the load of four filament spools, enabling the printer to print with up to four different colors with automatic load and unload. However, this is not the only cool feature that the AMS unit is capable of. How many of you have had the concern of starting a print with the printer unattended while not knowing if the filament on your current spool was enough to complete the print? The printer will pause the print and will allow you to insert new filament, but that means you need to be near the printer to do all that. An interrupt or even failed print caused from not enough filament is something that is not a nice scenario to have. Fortunately, with the AMS unit, we don't need to worry about that scenario anymore, because it can load a second filament spool automatically if the first one runs out. And this is how you do it. First, load the second spool with the filament you want to use in case the main one runs out. It does not matter which slots you are using, you will define all that on the printer. On the X1 series, go to the second tab and enter the AMS menu. In this example, we have the main filament on slot 1 and we loaded the second filament on slot 2. The main filament is already defined as PLA brown, so we need to define the second filament and matching slot with the same type of filament and color as the first one. This is very important because the printer needs to know that it can safely use the second filament as it has the same properties. This feature will also work with other filament brands, not only with the Bamboo Labs filaments, which is great. Ok, now we need to enable this swapping feature. At the bottom is a small button, and if we tap on it, we go to a different menu. In here, we have four options to enable or disable. The first two are for the AMS reading and updating the filament information automatically. The third one is a feature to estimate the remaining capacity of the filament. And finally, the fourth one is the one we want to enable to get the swap filament to run, which is the AMS filament backup mode. The previous three options you can enable or leave them disabled, but for the topic we are discussing right now, the fourth one is the one we need to have enabled. It's also possible to enable this feature through the Bamboo Lab Studio Slicer. You need to go to the Device tab and then click on the small icon here at the right side. You get the same menu and options as on the printer's display. For the P1P, the only way to enable this feature is through the Bamboo Lab Studio Slicer. And you need to have the latest version for the printer's firmware and the Studio Slicer as well. Ok, all set. All we need to do now is start a print and let the machine do all the work. The print will start with the first spool and as soon as the filament runs out, the printer will display a message on the screen to let you know that the filament ran out and will automatically load the second one. We don't need to do anything here, this is just a message and we can clear it at the end of the print. 
The AMS will then start to load the filament from the second spool automatically and resume the print. At the end, we get a complete print and with no marks or signs of where the filament was swapped. This is very handy not only to guarantee that you will have the finished print, even if your main spool does not have enough filament, but it's also great because you can use the entire filament without any worries, or end up with spools with small remains. And if you are printing prototypes or something that you don't care about the colors, you can use different spools with filament remains and use them all for your print. But for this case, you need to trick the machine and define all of them as being the same type and color. And make sure you use filaments that share the same slicer settings to avoid having print quality issues. One last note is about the end tip of the filament. All filaments have the end of the filament bent on the spool to hold it in place. Some filament brands make a simple turn and others do a more sharp turn. For the ones with a simple turn, they will come out when reaching the end. But for the ones with a sharp turn, the tip might get stuck to the spool and will prevent the swap from happening. Start with the first test and check if the end tip gets loose. If not, you will need to cut that tip off to prevent it from being stuck when it ends. And that's it you guys, thanks for watching. And if you like this one, don't miss our next videos with more tips and tricks for the Bamboo Lab printers. Bye!